and welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. Today is Friday the 13th and I have absolutely no idea what is going on with my hair. I look like crap. I took a few days off filming Vlogmas and it was great i didn't do anything productive i've been fighting a cold today i feel like i'm getting worse which is not ideal i've been out this morning to get my nails done i have to leave in about an hour to go get my smear test done and aside from that i've done nothing but i need to pack because tomorrow i'm off on a very exciting adventure in fact by the time you watch this video i will be in oslo a few months ago my cousin and i booked flights to oslo for the day and if you remember my instagram post from ages ago i posted a picture of a really great restaurant we went to in belfast and i said something like oh there are certain restaurants that i would like fly back to that country just to eat that food and in oslo when i went a few years ago we had like the best indian food we've ever had in our entire lives like it was so good my cousin went separately to me and jas she loved it and then my uncle different uncle went on like a work trip and he loved that restaurant and was raving about it me and jas went and we loved the restaurant and we all said as a joke we'd fly back and we we're actually flying back to kind of go to that restaurant except for on monday just was like you should try and book a table because obviously it's a saturday and can you imagine like we fly all the way there and we don't get a table so my cousin had a look that restaurant is temporarily closed which is so annoying the last trip advisor review that somebody left was on the 2nd of december so it's literally just closed their website's gone down they've changed names as well we were hoping it'd still be the same restaurant i like, say management same chefs or whatever but like there's no email address like there, were, there was one but it bounced back and like there's just no way of contacting them so yeah we are flying to oslo for the day but we're not actually going to that restaurant that we wanted to go to we got really cheap flights anyway whatever i don't want to hang around because i actually still feel really ill i don't know what this is doing i'm not sure how to like wear these things let me show you what i've got in my hair it's like this from primark which i've never actually worn because my hair's like i don't have any product in it because i'm ill i've just had it up in like this sort of weird bun just to get it out of my way And then I normally just, this is not a hair tutorial by the way. But yeah, tonight I want to, I really want to try and have an early night because we have to get up at 2.30 in the morning, leave at 3.30, be at Stansted where we're flying from, which is so far away, at 4.30 because our flight is at 6.30am and it's an all day thing so we don't get back until like... 11 p.m. I feel like I'm just getting too old for this. I don't know why I agreed to see this in the first place. It's going to be a really long day and we haven't booked a hotel so like there's no way that we can have a nap in the middle of the day. So we need to get as much sleep tonight as possible. Right, I thought I'd show you what I'm packing because of course you guys probably want to see like how to travel with an under seat carry-on as Ryanair calls them. This is a Herschel's rucksack backpack what's the difference i don't know i borrowed this off my little cousin used it like every day in kenya and i actually really love it it's filthy it used to be her old school bag but i have like a proper rucksack like a small one i guess somebody would take hiking and it's it's fine it's not very nice but it's just a bit annoying because it has so many compartments in it for like your laptop and just bits like that that it, that it just wastes all this space this one's just got one big empty compartment and a little front pocket which is just great so you can just put whatever you want inside anyway we're traveling light we're just going for the day but it is going to be freezing in oslo it is like between minus one and two degrees all day it's currently snowing let me show you what i'm going to wear last time i went i just wore leggings and it was the only country i've ever been to in my entire life where like my legs got cut like i had little lines all over like the front of my legs because it was that cold and they got cut in like because the weather through my leggings and so i don't want to wear like tights and leggings because that's a bit like i don't know it's, i don't think it's very comfortable um, i could do that but this time around i have got better quality leggings those ones were from matalan that i used to wear all the time and now i wear the MS ones which are great they're high-waisted they have like i don't know if you can tell because black's really hard to see but they've got this like really like 
thick stretchy band so they kind of feel like they give you a lot more support than cheap leggings would and the material's a bit thicker as well so i actually think that i'm going to just take these with me I'm not going to wear them because I think it will be cold, but I'm going to just put these in my rucksack. What I am going to wear is uh, these, again, are from M&S. Quite funny, this is not an ad. They're like, you know the trousers that people wore, like smart trousers with a sports stripe down the side because i don't really wear jeans i literally live in leggings or skirts or dresses and i don't wear tights all day that's ridiculous especially in the snow so i've got these and they're kind of like joggers because they're really thick and warm the only problem is they're cropped but i'm gonna wear uggs with them assuming they don't look stupid but at this point i don't really care because it is going to be freezing but they are like joggers they're just not because they're a bit smarter so that's what i'm going to wear i don't know if they'll be comfortable to wear all day or i might get hot so that is the reason for me putting leggings into my bag i'm gonna put these right at the bottom actually just in case i want to get changed i only have a long sleeve thermal top i normally wear these when i go to the us like new york new jersey around about thanksgiving black friday christmas time because it is that cold i'm not sure that they make that much difference really but this again is from MS. i think it was a two pack or something i bought it years ago i only have this one i don't know where the rest of them have gone but it's a bit annoying that it's long sleeved but like it's good and it's bad because i don't really have many long sleeve tops but that is what i'm packing there's no way i'm wearing layers in an airport like airports are really hot sweaty places and no so that's gone into the bottom of this bag to layer up with i haven't really decided right so i always wear just a plain vest top underneath jumpers almost like as a security blanket like a way of layering up because i get really hot i'm just i'm just a naturally warm-blooded person that's always far too hot and so i hate being uncomfortably warm i'd rather be a little bit cold and so I like the fact that I can layer up. Obviously, if I take my jumper off, I'll look stupid with a vest top with a long sleeved thermal top that's really high neck on underneath. But there's nothing I can do about that. So I'm either going to wear this vest top or I'm going to wear this white plain t-shirt. Both are from Matalan, just cheap and cheerful t-shirt underneath my jumper i love this jumper it's from tesco and it's actually one of the warmest jumpers i own it's really weird i buy a lot of jumpers from primark and i personally love them because like i said i get really hot but they're really not warm at all and when it is freezing because obviously i do get cold as well it has to be really cold for me to be cold but when it does get really cold i notice that primark jumpers like they're not even that cheap compared to like new look or like other sort of cheaper places on the high street and they're not warm at all whereas this tesco one super warm and i love the balloon sleeves it's just really like i just love this jumper so much so i'm gonna wear this hence the white t-shirt underneath but it's not see-through or anything so it's fine that's gonna be my outfit but in the airport i know i'm not gonna walk around in a vest top i look really stupid especially boarding a flight to oslo as opposed to like the canary islands or something so i'm probably just gonna wear this t-shirt maybe the vest top underneath and these jogger things with my uggs and then i will put the jumper inside my rucksack at the end but i'll put it at the top so i can put it out first then i'm taking gloves i <laughs> took me about an hour to find these yesterday my sister bought these for me one christmas a couple of years ago from accessorize and i love that they're like mittens so they're kind of like fingerless gloves she bought these for me because those touch screen gloves don't work at all and so um, we, we can't use a thumb but it's great if i want to when i'm vlogging so i can press the record button and then i can just unbutton this and cover up my fingers i mean i don't really wear gloves at home because i drive everywhere most of the time and i have a pair in the car because if i get in in the morning when it's really cold i hate touching a cold steering wheel i should wear gloves more often but i love these i'm definitely taking these with me and again these will just be in my bag for when i get there because it won't be that cold here oh so i put my gloves inside my bag actually so then i have our passports of course they're going to go in the front pocket i have mine and dresses so that's there i have my wallet i won't really need anything from my wallet apart from i have a metro bank card which i can use for free throughout europe to pay for stuff and withdraw cash that's probably the only card that i'll need so i might have a bit of a clear out of this later on this evening if i have time i also have my 
little tripod for this camera because I'll be vlogging, but that will be on there later. I've got a little pouch just because there's like no no like pockets in there but in this little pouch is my hands-free kit like earphones my phone for the flight if i want to listen to music paracetamol because somebody is bound to get a headache with it being such an early start in the morning and a long day that somebody will be me nobody else will watch spare battery for this camera although this is like a fake battery and although it served me really really well for like four or five years it's started like not really working in this camera which is a bit annoying so i might at the last minute just pack my charger and an adapter plug because this battery has been playing up for some reason this camera knows that i'm using a fake battery these days and you might laugh but sunglasses last night i was watching my oslo vlog back from when i went like two or three years ago and we went on this boat trip to see the fjords which was incredible and we were thinking about doing it again depending on what the weather's like tomorrow and i had sunglasses on and i know it's like freezing but it really did protect my eyes from the wind because it was so, i've never felt cold like that it brought back all these memories on that boat it was absolutely freezing i remember i sat there with all my clothes on obviously my scarf and stuff but i also had like three of their fleecy blankets around me and like three around my legs and i was frozen so it's just the cheap pair of sunglasses you know although i love them that's all gonna go in this little pouch i might also take a book because it is a two hour flight then i have my liquids bag i got gifted this bag by a brand called gate eight when i went to some event like earlier this year it's a great bag because my sephora ones i always travel with sometimes they stop me at the airport because it isn't actually see-through like i'd say 70 percent of the time i get away with it but just for ease like just to get through the security and like not have to faff around this is obviously a lot better because it is a clear liquids bag i'm taking eye drops because i always have really dry eyes i bought this aldi Lecura like fake miracle cream like it's the elizabeth arden miracle cream i took it to kenya with me didn't really need to use it there i've used it as a lip balm a couple of times i don't love it but i need to get through it and this kind of doubles up as like hand cream lip balm if you've got dry patches this would be a good one to take so i definitely need lip balm out there i have this like sonic care oh, let me put this down it's called sonic chic oh it's just oh this looks gross i am so sorry to show you this why is it all gone weird yeah maybe it's time to change the head it's basically a little toothbrush it's not like as good as an electric one because it doesn't like rotate it just vibrates but i've just had this for ages so i'm taking this just because you know if you fall asleep on a flight and even though it's only two hours i feel a bit disgusting like i need to brush my teeth i need to put toothpaste in because i know that i will forget so i'm gonna go do that in a minute and i also have this like little mini mouthwash that i use on our flight to kenya i am um, nicked this from a hotel that we stayed in i've got a couple of these actually the maid used to top them up every single day it's always a hilton double tree actually that give you these mouthwashes and they're great they're not the best but i mean it's so cute it's perfect for travel and you can just like keep the bottle and refill it it doesn't leak which is great i have a couple of pairs of contact lenses because i've decided that i will do my makeup in the car on the way to the airport because it's about an hour's drive i don't want to wake up early to do my makeup and normally i would do it when we land because i hate wearing makeup on a flight but i don't want to take it to oslo with me just for the day that's so annoying so i'll do my makeup and then i'll like either put these in or put my glasses in there or whatever i have a little foundation sample that's just in here from when i went to kenya this is the dior i don't know what the name of it is but it's the foundation that i wear just in case i need a top up i won't but i don't know why it's in here i use this on the flight um from kenya when we landed it's the elemis pro radiance illuminating flash balm it's really nice actually i've had a sample from somewhere so i've just got that in there in case i want to use that as a moisturizer or whatever that'll be my liquids bag and then obviously like i'm gonna be wearing like these joggers my uggs socks like a thermal top a t-shirt a jumper a coat and i will take a scarf i haven't chosen my scarf yet but I need to pack a scarf. And then I don't know. I think I'm going to play it by ear and see what my hair's doing tomorrow. Because 
you know, if it's a good hair day or a bad hair day, because I never wear hats, but obviously when it's cold, you, I have to. I have this hat. It used to be Jass's, and he'll tell you that I tried it on once and stretched it. I have a big head, and I have a lot of hair, and so most hats don't actually fit me, which is really annoying. This one does. It's, it's a men's one. It's falling apart, but, you know. I really like it, so there's that. I might take this, Ugh. or... I have these again that I bought in New York. They're UGG um, ow, earmuffs. They're so warm and cosy, but they're a bit like anti-social because when you're with people, you can't really hear them very well unless they're like facing you and you know that they're like talking to you, but they are so warm. I've literally felt like I'm getting a cold all week. Have I forgot anything? And last night I left the house just to like walk to the polling station to go and vote and it was so cold like i was all wrapped up but my face was fr why am i wearing these my face was absolutely frozen and i was like what's the temperature and it was seven degrees and i was like oh my god it's gonna be between two and like minus one in oslo it's gonna be even colder so i think taking both is probably a bit excessive i'll probably take the hat but i'll decide in the morning anyway that's what i'm packing and obviously this can like i mean it's you know it's not even full this is my under seat carry-on and that is all the stuff i'm taking with me i think my camera obviously and my phone like that would be stupid but yeah that's it so tomorrow when you watch this video i will be in oslo freezing my little tissue off so you can feel sorry for me or you don't have to because I'm abroad. Whichever way you want to play it. But now I need to go go have my smear test done, which has to be done. Don't put it off because, you know, it's never as bad as you think it is or you think it's going to be. And then I'm going to come home and just do some work. So I want to end this video here. I really hope you didn't miss me too much during my few days off Vlogmas. It's been great but the next like the run up to christmas from tomorrow onwards is going to be crazy busy so please pray for me that i don't get a cold because i really do not have time to be ill i really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did then please give it a big thumbs up thank you so much for watching and i will see you tomorrow with another vlogmas video <laughs> bye